Hi, I'm Allison with New Little Life. I'm a birth doula, lactation counselor, nurse, and mom of two. Today we're gonna to talk about two of the most popular breast pumps, Medela and Spectra. We're gonna compare and contrast them, and I'll tell you what's better about one versus the other. These two pumps have a lot in common, so let's talk about the similarities first. They can both do either a single or double pump. They also both have two-phase expression technology, meaning that you can have the slow and soft sucking at first, and then when your milk lets down, you can switch it to a more rapid and stronger suck. Both of these have that option. They also both have options for different phalange sizes. So this piece right here that goes on the breast, you can get different widths based on the size of your nipple, and both have that availability. That's about all they have in common. So let's talk about some of the differences here. Let's start with the Medela pump first. The Medela pump is an open system, meaning that there's nothing in between the tubing and the milk flow. So it's possible and happens quite frequently that you get milk up into this tubing because there's nothing in between that and the milk. The Spectra, however, is a closed pump system, meaning that there's this backflow protector in between the milk and the tubing. So this keeps milk out of your tubing, making it a closed pump system. This means that it's safe for multiple users. Sometimes I'll use these in the hospitals because you can sterilize it. You don't run the risk of any milk contamination getting into the tube or in the system because of this little backflow protector right here. They also have different sizes of bottles that they use. You can see this Medela is a narrow mouth bottle and the Spectra uses a wide mouth bottle. So you cannot interchange a Medela bottle with a Spectra pump because it won't screw on. Same vice versa. You'll also notice that the valves are quite different. The Spectra uses a duckbill style valve and the Medela uses this flap style valve. These do come off for easy cleaning and replacement, which is nice. This yellow part also comes off for easy cleaning. This duck bill also comes off for easy cleaning, so they're both great that way. The duck bill seems to last a little bit longer, um, and it is easier to clean just because you can get clear in there, whereas this yellow one is a little bit harder to get into. But both serve their purpose well. You can order replacement parts for both of those. The tubing is a little different too. You'll notice the Medela has one side that attaches to the pump and the other side that attaches to the flange. Those are not interchangeable, which is not a big deal. The Spectra, however, has the same ends on both sides, so you can do either end to the pump, either to the flange. Very user-friendly. This is the Spectra 1, so it has the built-in rechargeable battery, which is awesome, meaning that you don't need to plug it in to use it. The Medela you do, although you can buy a battery pack, that you plug in here to eight, I think, AA batteries, which makes it more portable, and that's an extra feature that you can buy. The Spectra 2 does not have that built-in rechargeable battery, so you do need to plug it in or get a battery pack. The biggest and most important difference between these two pumps, in my opinion, is the way that they suck. So first, let's start with the Medela. You've got your suction speed and intensity on a single knob. So you can start it out slow, or you can turn it up for a harder section. It's very adjustable and easy to use. It, it also has the two-phase expression, they both do, where you can push this button and it will slow down the suck. That's a better suck for beginning your pumping session to get your milk to let down, and then once it's down, you can hit that button again and the milk speeds up. You'll notice on the Medela that it's just going in and out, which is okay and it's effective, but the Spectra does it a little bit differently and I wanna show you what that looks like. So with the Spectra, there's a few more buttons which can be a little more confusing to a new mom who just opens this up, but you have way more customability and things that you can do with it. Anytime you turn it on, it's gonna start at your last settings. So it remembers where you were, so you don't have to remember what suction strength you like it on. It has different cycles that you can change to. It has five cycles for the slow starting suck. And then once your milk comes down, you just hit this button and it immediately switches over to a faster, stronger suck. You can change the vacuum pressure to lower if it's too intense for you or up high if you want a little bit more suction there. 
You'll notice that the suction sounds different. It's more of a three pulse suction, like that, which is a lot closer to what the baby actually does. So a lot of moms say that this suck feels more natural and is more comfortable overall. This pump will also time your nursing session. So at the bottom, you can see how long you've been nursing, which is a great feature in case you get distracted or you just wanna keep track of how long you've been pumping. It also has a nightlight feature, which is amazing if you're pumping at night, in the car, anywhere like that. When the room is dark, sometimes it's easier to get your milk to let down when you're relaxed and calm. So this little light is super helpful in a lot of different scenarios. It also has a brighter option if that's not quite enough. A lot of times this is what I would use at night when I needed an extra light to breastfeed my baby. <laughs> my pump was on my nightstand and I just click that little light on, get them latched on, and then click it right off and go on my way. This pump is by far my favorite over a Medela. There's so many features on the Spectra that make it user friendly, customizable, easy to use and little things like a light that they thought of and a place to put your bottle when you're done pumping you can set your bottle in the back here of the pump do what you need to do wash your hands whatever and then come back and deal with it there's a lot of just little things like that that they really thought about that you kind of lack with the medela a couple of pros to the medela though is they do make bags that will screw right onto this so you can pump straight into a freezer bag seal it up, throw it in the fridge. You don't have to transfer this to a bag and have an extra step and extra parts to wash. The Medela also has a lot of options for bags that fit this pump. So if you want a messenger bag or a purse style or a backpack for your pump to carry it around, they make a lot that are specific to this pump and are gonna fit it really well along with some accessories. Medela also makes little coolers with an ice pack that fits bottles really well. You can fit four in this little cooler for easy transport, which is a great feature. A lot of their bags also have room for a cooler. The Spectra doesn't have any of those kind of extra accessories, although it's not that hard to pump into a bottle and put it in a bag and freeze it, things like that. You can find a lot of breast pump bags on Amazon. I'll leave you a link below to my favorite one. In fact, I'll just show it to you right now. It's got a little compartment in the side that the pump fits in nicely. Up top, you've got room for extra supplies. I have a nursing cover, a drying mat for when you wash out your supplies and parts. You can lay them out on this drying mat. It's a wet bag as well. You can put all of your extra supplies right in the top. I can even fit a cooler in there. And it's super cute. No one would ever know that this was a breast pump. I also keep my extra bags freezer bags on this side. You got a place for your wallet. This is the cord to plug it in and charge it. It's all in one little bag. Medela makes bags that are specific to their pumps, which is kind of a nice feature because then you know it's going to fit. It's all going to fit nicely, but you can find some really good ones for the Spectra as well. I hope this video was helpful in identifying some of the main differences between Spectra and Medela pumps. Those are the two most common pumps and you can even order both of these pumps usually for free from your insurance company. I'll put a link below on how to do that. If you wanna watch more videos about breast pumps, go check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe because I'm posting new content often on tips on breastfeeding, pregnancy, postpartum, labor, new mom life. And you can also find me on my blog, newlittlelifeblog.com. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave those below. I love responding to comments and I'll see you next time.